Alright, guess who's back? This guy. Ready to answer more questions. Like where do this parabola and this line intersect each other? Where does any parabola and any line intersect each other? Well, luckily for you, I've got a special four-step process for you. Here it is. Set the equations equal to each other. Move everything to one side. Solve for x, and then plug each x back into the original equation. Want to see it in action? I do. Let's do it. Number one. Set the equations equal to each other. Here we go. We've got x squared plus 4x plus 6 equals the other equation, negative 3x minus 4. Step 1, done. 2, move everything to one side. Let's move the negative 3 over, and we'll move the negative 4 over. What do we get? x squared plus 4x plus 6. When negative 3x comes over, it becomes plus 3x. When minus 4 moves over, it becomes plus 4. We're left with 0 on that side. Number 3, solve for x. Well, first we can clean this up a little bit. 4x and 3x together make 7x. 6 and 4 add together to make 10. There, doesn't that look prettier? Now we got two ways we can solve this. We can factor it, or we can use the quadratic formula. If you use the quadratic formula, whatever the formula gives you, those are your answers for x. Those are just the x values. You can also choose to factor it. If you choose to factor it, oh, let's factor this. Two numbers, a multiply of 10, add to 7, turns into x plus 5 and x plus 2. Therefore, x is negative 2 and negative 5. Remember when you factor it and you're looking for the values of x that satisfy the equation? You need to flip the signs. If you use the quadratic formula, you would get these numbers directly, but it would have taken longer. We just solved for x. Look at that. Check. Number four, plug into one of the original equations. So here's the deal. Where do that parabola and that line intersect? They intersect in two places. You know how I know it's two? Because I get two answers. And the points where they intersect are negative two and something, and negative five and something. These are the coordinates. Who knows what these are yet? We have to figure it out. The way we get this is to plug negative 2 into one of the original equations. This one's easiest. Negative 3x minus 4. Negative 3x minus 4. Plug in negative 2. Negative 3 times negative 2 minus 4. See, so just plug it in. When I do that, I get 2. So it intersects at negative 2 and 2. We got to do this again. Negative 3 times negative 5 minus 4. Just plug it back into the equation. Uh, 15 minus 4, that makes 11. So that means it's negative 5 and 11. These two points are the two points of intersection. That's all there is to it. And we followed special process. We set them equal to each other. That equals that. We moved everything to one side. We solved for x, quadratic formula, factoring. And then we had to plug each of the numbers that we got back into one of the original equations. These are the x values of the points of intersection. The first coordinate. These are the y values. And you have to get those by plugging each of these into one of the original equations. Piece of cake.